Welcome everybody to the Frax Check, your weekly Frax Vibe Check. I'm your host, Capital K, and I'm joined by my co-host, DeFi Dave, and our producer extraordinaire, Sam. We'll be going straight to the source of truth via checking the chain, but a quick hat tip to our boy Seba, the Dune Wizard, for putting the dashboards together. And before we jump in, please subscribe to the Flywheel Pod on YouTube and follow us on Telegram and Twitter at Flywheel Pod. Now let's get after it. So... This is the Frax Check for a week of August 31st to September 6th. And we always start with the most critical thing, the peg. As you can see here for the last week or so, our high is at a dollar and our low is at 0 0.998. Peg check. Now I always like to take it to the markets and go to Curve and do a $100 million swap of Frax into, uh, you know, sometimes I switch it between DAI, USDC, USDT. This week I did DAI and we are at 0 0.9988. And that represents a weekly change of negative 0.01%. Curve swap checked. And now we're going to move over to check on the collateralized ratio. Here we see it at 90.75% which is largely unchanged week over week. However, as you can see over the year, we've steadily climbed up. And this is kind of the market's way of signaling to us that they desire lower risk because the- Is Kit uh, frozen or is it just me? 90.75% <laughs> 90. uh, represents the collateralized percent of the hard assets against the fracks, meaning 19.25% is FXS. On the right hand side, we have the decentralized percent, which is at 18.46%, which represent a negative 2.1% week over week growth. And this number here represents the how much of the assets collateralizing FRAX are decentralized. Uh, clearly, we want this number as high as possible, and we want the number on the collateralized uh, percent uh, lower. So we're kind of at this, you know, kind of pico bottom per se. On both charts, hopefully we'll we'll see some changes across the well, board. Well, this here. is probably the bottom. So this is probably bottom. Just to note, um, we're right about where Maker's decentralized or decentralization ratio is. So I think they're about like eight point eighteen point eight or nineteen percent or something yeah. like that, because yeah, exactly. the majority of their collateral is held in USDC. Um, one thing one thing that I will say about the decentralization ratio is that uh, it's it's inversely correlated to the collateralization ratio. So like as the collateralization ratio goes higher, you know the we're, we have more and more USDC that's backing Frax, and so obviously the decentralization ratio is going to go down. Uh, I think I think we're actually closer to the bottom in the decentralization ratio just because of some big news that came out today, and uh, it, we I, we can talk about it a little bit later on. But the cat's out of the bag, and Fraxlin's coming. So yeah, baby, uh, Fraxlin. Yeah, Fraxlin is going to mean that uh, people are going to be borrowing against BTC and ETH uh, to create new Frax. And that'll increase the decentralization ratio. So pretty, pretty excited about that. Yeah, it's, it's going to help. Um, now let's jump back in to the frax check. We're moving on to a quick summary slide. So for health check, our peg was from 0 0.998 to a dollar. Curve swap at 0 0.9988, and collateralization ratio is 90.75, and decentralization ratio at 18.46. Now moving on to some AMO holdings check. So. We see here that the total AMO holdings is 831 million this week. That represents a negative 12% drop uh, from last week. And the reason being is that the curve pool, uh, rather the curve AMO actually decreased. The large portion of this negative 12% came from the curve AMO going down about like 100 million or, or so. Um, as to the reason why, I'm not sure. I can only speculate, but I would imagine people are probably pulling out and buying into the dip of the market per se. Now, let's take a look at our profitability. We have a profit of, or rather a loss of about 680K uh, so far this month, the first six days in. However, I must remind us that bribes are paid on a two week period and they're always prepaid. So our revenue is still to come over the next two weeks. And I believe the Vodium Bribe round just closed uh, last week or rather on, on Monday, uh, correct. And so we'll see revenue trickling in over the next two weeks, but right now we're down 680K at the start of the month, which is normal. Now let's take a look at a summary of both of those together. We have 
total AMO holdings of 831 billion. That is actually down 12% week over week. We have a loss of 680K for the month so far. But like I said, revenue is going to be trickling in over the next two weeks. Now, here is the Frax based pool stats. And this is my favorite slide because it kind of represents, you know, Frax's innovation and changes. And I am very pleased to announce we have the flippening. The Frax base pool. The Everybody. real flippening. Has That's overtaken yeah. the real <laughs> flippening. The Frax base pool has flipped the three pool. I checked Dune this morning and I couldn't believe it, so I went to Curve itself and checked. And gosh darn it, it is true, guys. It is true. G Willikers, Batman. And we see here that not only did we flip it, we flipped it by an extra 8%. And we have completely left the Frax 3 CRV in the dust. So it's, the Frax base pool is just crushing it across the board here. And then what led us here was actually a week over week increase of 16%. So as who else is, whoever else is in the Frax BP LP on convex, we all noticed that massive drop in our, our yield, but it's, it's, it's for a good cause. It means good things. Now, moving on to the meta pools. These are the pools that are paired against the Frax base pool. Uh, apologies for the colors here. I'll, I'll fix it for next week to make it a bit more popped out. But we saw a burst of 5% increase in TVL over the last week. We're now at 52.4 million. So we have broken into that 50 million territory. And as you can see from this chart, we're either flat or we go through this like exponential growth moment. And this is kind of like week over week here. And if kind of history repeats itself, we should have another growth spurt coming up in the next two weeks. So excited to see that. So in summary, we have the Frax base pool at 914 million, which is 108% of the three pool. On the meta pool side, we're at 52 million, and that was a 5% increase week over week. Now I'm going to pass it off to Dave. To do, oh, sorry, before I do that, I, I, we always have to end with this piece. Uh, the frac supply currently sits at 1.485 billion, and we like to see this number keep on going up and up and up. And this week, you know, we down slightly, uh, around 70 bips. But like I said, this number, we want to see it keep going up and up. And with the upcoming frac lend, please expect this number to be increasing drastically. And with that, I'm going to close out and I'm going to hand it over to Dave to do some governance roundup. What's good, everyone? Thank you, Kit, for that lovely, encouraging infrax check. Uh, really cool to see the flipping happen. Um, and I have to agree with Sam. Uh, I think the decentralization ratio has hit the bottom. Um, and I'm excited to see where it goes with Fraxland, which leads me to the first uh, proposal I'm going to discuss, which is a uh, FIP 109 create Fra Fraxland ammo. It was posted in the forum by Nader, who's part of the Frax core team four days ago on September 2nd. And uh, it authorizes a creation of an ammo for up to $5 million, $5 million of liquidity in Frax WPTC and Frax ETH pairs. Um, remember Fraxland, um, which is coming out imminently, uh, hopefully today, um, will allow for these isolated lending markets to uh, get started. And it makes sense for, for there to be wrapped BTC and wrapped ETH, considering that there's some of like the most you know used assets, both as collateral uh, and borrowed on ETH. Uh, it's a good thing that it's wrapped ETH, because if it's regular ETH and it's before the merge, that will not be a good time. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see in the discussion below, um, lots of support. Uh, I expect this to come go through with flying colors. Uh, next, we have an update from last week with uh, FIP 107. This was to redeploy the imbalance AGERU Frax gauge that's on Uni V3 uh, and redeploy it as an AGERU Frax BP meta pool. Um, it, this week, it passed with flying colors with 29 million votes in favor. So now, uh, you know, this is an extra, uh, you know, meta pool gauge that's going to be on, uh, you know, on curve. So real encouraging. Uh, next, uh, we have a uh, we have another proposal that was discussed last week with FIP 108, which is now up for a vote in Snapshot. Uh, this is to create new Frax BP Metapool gauges for PUSD, which is the stablecoin of JPEG, 
and Mai, which is the stablecoin of Chidao. Um, yeah, it's currently up for vote. Um, right now it has, you know, 764,000 in favor. Uh, there's still another few days. I expect for this one to get passed as well. Um, and this leads me to my next proposal, uh, which is FIP 110. I mean, FIP 110. Uh, this is really interesting. Uh, it's to add an additional several FRAX BP Metapool gauges. Uh, there is seven, including uh, CRV USD FRAX BP in it. Um, the other ones include dollar FRAX BP, ALCX FRAX BP, CVX FRAX BP, CVX CRV FRAX BP, CVX FXS FRAX BP, and AG ERU FRAX BP. And this will basically allow the trifecta of rewards, CRV, CVX, and FXS to flow onto Convex to those who stake there. Um, and yeah, this is in discussion. It was just posted 11 hours ago. Uh, Sam K himself commented that he's very much in favor of this. So I expect this one to get passed as well. We're going to have an update on that one next week when it goes up for a vote. You know what's conspicu uh, conspicuously not on that list? Who? Pitch FXS, Frax BP. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good eye. Maybe on the next one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Um, maybe that's something to ask... Uh, you know, C2TP or Charlie about, but, they uh, should switch. I mean, right now that's, it's, uh, what is it? It's pitch FXS Frax, right? But they should be it, paired against the, the base. Frax right? BP. Yeah. I guess uh, maybe they can do something like a redeploy, but right now it's just in the Frax gauge, but it would make sense. Honestly, like that would get more liquidity to the pitch FXS Frax BP than just simple, uh, pitch FXS Frax, but mm -hmm. we'll see. I feel like Frax BP is just like a souped up, Frax, <laughs> like stable in a sense, but um, yeah, this leads. Let's uh, continue on. Um, so you know, last week there was a FIP 105 in discussion, which is basically to seek 5K in legal advice on the phase situation. It went up for a vote and it passed. Um, I'm just I'm curious what happens from here because it's not like something that can be deployed on chain. This is more of a layer zero off chain situation. You know, it's like the Frax core team going to like contact like a lawyer that specializes in this area. Like, I'm not even sure like how you keep this governance like proposal that was approved accountable. It's like it's it's really like symbolic of the community wanting there to be, you know, some resolution to the whole fate of Alcoin situation. And, you know, I'm hopeful it gets resolved, um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm just more curious on the, what the legal proceedings look like for something. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Like, I, I mean, like, who do you, who do you send, who do you serve, right? <laughs> who do you serve? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> so next we have another update from last week. We have a revote on FIP 96, which is a FRAX SDL gauge. So SDL is the governance holding of Saddle, which is a, a stable swap dex so that's similar to curve um last time it was up for a vote it mixed quorum by 0.6 percent um and so you know there was a, another fip that authorized a you know a revote and basically made a rule saying like hey if if something reaches 90 percent of quorum but doesn't reach 100 percent, then it will automatically go for a revote and so fip 96 was the first rendition of that and it was uh approved but with 16 million for and 214,000 against. So new gauge on frac swap, whoop. Um, next, we have the uh, FIP 103, which is a revised deployment of liquidity risk profile for frax finance. Basically like um, developing risk models and profiles, dashboards for frax and whatnot. Uh, it currently, it looks like it's not gonna pass. There's literally, uh, Five, actually, no, no, it it already closed. <laughs> it yeah, did it not closed, pass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it closed. It lay closed while we were filming this, so um, it did not pass. Um, I mean, I read it, it. It looks interesting. I mean, I wonder why it didn't get any any support from the larger larger holders. Yeah, I think I don't know. It may have been like a lot to ask for ADK. Um, also, you know. A, Frax has a lot of, I know the Frax core team has a lot of dashboards internally. So, and they're like working to get them more out in public externally through Frax Facts. So, 
Yeah, I it didn't pass. So maybe in the future, who knows? Um, next, uh, an update on the Concentrator AFXS gauge. Um, last week, there were like some concerns saying, hey, like this doesn't really promote Frax liquidity at all. It's just kind of redundant getting, you know, sending FXS gauge rewards to a souped up FXS gauge. Um, so, but Sherilyn from Concentrator had a response saying that, you know, you know, she hears the concerns and she dropped a little bit of alpha saying that Concentrator is working on Frax denominated related items. So maybe Concentrator is going to work on some like Frax denominated, uh, you know, offerings for their <laughs> platform very soon. Which makes sense. So I like seeing constructive governance like this. Seems like the community's being heard out here. And uh, we'll see what Concentrator proposes in the future. Just for just for viewers at home, what, what exactly does Concentrator do? Concentrator is like a convex on top of convex. It just like compounds. <laughs> compound, <laughs> that's how I describe them. They like compound um, CVX rewards okay. in the same way like CRV compound. But CVX... Convex compound CRV rewards. Oh, okay. So you deposit your CVX uh, FXS tokens, and then it, it takes the CVX that you earn from that and then auto compounds it back in. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that what... It... Okay. Right, right. It's, it's just another flavor. <laughs> yeah. More smart contract risk. No, the, the, flywheel, <laughs> the flywheel just keeps on turning. <laughs> the flywheel keeps getting more complicated. We're adding another gear to the flywheel. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for governance. Like lots of proposals around Frax BP, increasing Frax BP adoption, and this plays into you know why Frax BP is increasing and why the flipping happened. It's because now you're getting like all these gauges approved. You're gonna see you know more liquidity, more meta pool pairs, really exciting stuff. And I expect in a few weeks for like Frax BP to be the go-to gauge. The go to meta pool for every stable and non stable on curve. Dude, it has to be. It has more liquidity than the native three pool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it kind of has to be. And you know what they say liquidity begets liquidity. So it's going to be yeah. only from there. If yeah, only there was like me. some kind of perps contractor to bet on the Frax base pool. Like, that would have been an amazing perps contract. <laughs> I wonder how many people would play that game. I think everyone would take the same side and just pay massive funding. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Well, oh. yeah. So that was this week for Frax Check. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube to Flywheel Pod. Don't forget to hit that bell for every notification you need for all the latest Flywheel Pod content. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Flywheel Pod. Join our Telegram group at Flywheel Pod. You can follow me on Twitter at DeFiDave22. You can follow me at 0x capital underscore K. And I'm at uh, traders underscore insight. So. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.